Hi, and welcome to Architecture 345's third and final module, uh, Structural Technologies in Practice. My name is Tom Leslie. I'll be your instructor for the final few weeks uh, of the fall term. And I wanted to just go through a couple of logistical things uh, to talk about where you can find the content for this module uh, on Canvas and elsewhere uh, through links that, that I have on the, on the Canvas site. Uh, all of the lectures are pre-recorded. They are online. They're in a YouTube channel that I'll show you how to access in just a minute. The idea that we have is that you will watch the lectures at your leisure, uh, but hopefully on pace with the course. Uh, there is no need to show up for the lecture per se, but I will have a Zoom uh, room open that I'll be in during the lecture time. If you have questions about the content, if there's something that really interests you that you want to discuss further, or if you just want to go over some of the slides again, uh, I'll be there and can answer questions uh, live during the, uh, the lecture session. During the lab session, we will run those just as they've been run during the first couple of modules. Uh, Eric and the TAs will run those. I'll be in the same Zoom uh, and I'll be able to do chalk talks or go through examples uh, if we have situations where we have, say, you know, half a dozen or a dozen people who have the same question, uh, Eric will pull people out and we can set up in the, in the same Zoom that I'll use for the, the lecture Q&A uh, to do examples and things during the lab. But most importantly, know that there is no attendance requirement for the lectures per se and that the labs will continue to be run through the WebEx rooms and Zoom rooms that you've been using uh, for, for modules one and two. Okay, where do you get these? So on the Canvas website, which you're all now uh, overly familiar with, um, if you go to modules, uh, I've put up a new module for structural technologies in practice, and it is right after orientation. I've moved it up so that it's at the, at the top of the page. Um, that will have the readings uh, that are assigned. This will have uh, static PDFs of the lectures, so the slide images uh, in full resolution, but, but with no narration that you can use for reference and for review. And then most important document uh, is this syllabus uh, in, a, in a Word doc format. You can download this if you want, or you can uh, just refer to it uh, on the Canvas site. The revised syllabus will have dates, readings, uh, what the labs are, and then where you see lectures, this has hyperlinks that go to a YouTube channel that I've set up uh, to hold on to all of these videos. So when you click on one of those, it will open up uh, Thomas Leslie's YouTube channel and it will take you straight to uh, whatever that lecture is. So in this case, I think I clicked on uh, History of Structures and there you can see me uh, talking about the, the slides in the background. Now, those slides, again, will be full resolution in the PDFs that are in the module. The YouTube channel uh, is where you want to go to get uh, the narration. Now, just to... Um, show you just a little bit in a little bit more detail. I've organized all of the lectures into a playlist. So here you can see ARC 345 lectures, view full playlist. And these are uh, in order. Uh, they are daisy chained. So there will be a, 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 a video link at the end of each lecture. If you click on that, it will go right into the next one. If you want to binge watch all of your structures lectures at once, uh, you can certainly do that. Um, in that playlist page, you can see that I also have lectures for the other structures courses in the sequence. Uh, not quite all of them yet. Uh, 346 and 348 uh, are still kind of in progress, uh, but you can skip around. If you want to see what you have coming uh, in a year's time, you can click on the 347 lectures playlist uh, and dive into those as well. Now, the syllabus itself uh, is something uh, you can uh, download, of course, if you want, and the hyperlinks will still work from that, so you can uh, get this out of Canvas and uh, refer to it uh, just on your desktop. Um, you'll note that basically we're going through uh, four topics. Um, we're going to talk about uh, some introductory stuff, history, some case studies at the beginning. Uh, we'll talk about some basic vocabulary, forces and loads, the kind of stuff that we deal with when we're dealing with structures, uh, and equilibrium, how basically we make buildings that don't move. That is the ultimate goal 
uh, structural engineering. We'll do a handful of examples of that, and then we'll finish uh, with the concept of stability and how we apply stability to large-scale buildings. Um, you'll note that the pace is pretty quick uh, up front, uh, three lectures uh, per week. Each one of these are between 20 uh, and 30 minutes. So we're going to go a little bit over time uh, in the first couple of weeks. Uh, but then that means that the last uh, couple of weeks when things get busy with studio especially, um, we'll scale it back a little bit and there are just uh, two lectures. Note too, there are only four labs uh, and there'll be two quizzes. Uh, Eric and I know that this semester has been uh, rough time-wise. Uh, we've certainly heard from 201 studio critics that uh, a lot of you are feeling a little bit overwhelmed. So Eric and I have worked hard to try to pare this down to get what you need to know to move ahead in the structure sequence, but also to try to be smart about uh, how much we're adding to your workload and, and uh, when we're doing that, particularly uh, as the semester comes to a close. Um, the labs, some of them will be more like homework. Uh, some of them, like Spaghetti Bridge, will be actual uh, modeling activities that I will ask you to do and uh, both load and weigh uh, some examples. We'll try to give you these uh, far enough ahead of time that, that you can plan uh, around them, that you can um, to help uh, to help manage your time. Um, again, uh, no need to show up for the lectures, but I'll be there if you have questions. Uh, use the syllabus to link through to the YouTube lectures. I'll also typically post uh, the week's lectures or links to them in announcement uh, on Sundays, so you can go there as well. And uh, please do feel free to keep in touch. Uh, you can contact me by email uh, or, of course, in the Zoom during lectures. Uh, if there's anything that you don't understand, please do speak up. We want to make sure that uh, everyone's got a good foundation, that we get the concepts that are important to this class uh, really kind of um, embedded in, in all of your minds so that as we build on them in, in future semesters, uh, this stuff all feels like second nature. Um, I will say, too, a lot of people uh, sort of look forward to structures with uh, a little bit of uh, anxiety um, because it is a, a relatively math-centered uh, subdiscipline. Uh, Rob Whitehead and I, in uh, putting these lectures together, uh, believe very strongly that while you need to sort of know the, the basic principles and a little bit of math helps for that, um, we are not training you to be structural engineers. We're training you to be architects. And therefore, we've tried to give you just enough math to sort of open the hood and show how the nuts and bolts uh, work in a typical structure. Um, we'll try to keep it fairly light. Uh, algebra and some trigonometry are really all that you're going to need to get through most of the sequence. Um, if those are familiar, great. Uh, if not, trigonometry especially might be worth uh, brushing up just a little bit. But for the most part, we'll be talking about uh, principles and vocabulary, and we'll usually use math and examples to illustrate uh, how those work. Uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, as always, um, we will see you, quote unquote, uh, either in the Zoom or uh, in the labs uh, as the course goes forward.